crafty friends, Donna here at Diamond Art Joy. Welcome to my panda time. Yeah, today we want to talk about pandas. Um, who out there likes pandas? Let me know. Um, I certainly do. Um, they're the neatest type of bear um, I've ever seen. Um, I'd like to give you a little bit of history about pandas, at least here in the United States. Um, Pandas are a, are a Chinese national symbol. They are thought to have diverged from the main bear line 15 million to 25 million years ago. Wow. I didn't really know that. I mean, the, the history of everything is amazing, but, <laughs> you know, just to think about that is out there, man. Um, <clears throat> as far as the United States... The pandas were first introduced to the United States at a dinner party in 1972. You know, I just learned this stuff as I, I looked it up. I had no idea how they got here. Um, it turns out that President Richard Nixon and his first lady, Pat Nixon, were in Beijing, China, and he was the first U.S. president to visit the People's Republic of China. At this particular banquet, the First Lady Pat Nixon sat next to Premier Zhao Anlai, I'm probably butchering the name, sorry, and at the time he was one of China's high-ranking leaders. The First Lady noticed a small tin of cigarettes on the table marked with the logo of two pandas. Aren't they cute, she said. I love them. I'll give you some, Zhao told the first lady. Cigarettes, she replied. No, Zhao said, pandas. So that marked the beginning of pandas being introduced into the United States. So on April the 16th, 1972, a male and a female panda, that was Ling Ling and Sing Sing, they were both 18 months old. They arrived on a military plane at Maryland's Andrews Air Force Base and were escorted by police to their new home at the Smithsonian Zoo in Washington. So the Bahandas became instant celebrities, of course, because, you know, not, no one had really seen pandas in person before. Um, so for 51 years... From that time until now, pandas have been in the United States. However, the sad part is they're going back to China. Um, obviously, the pandas were on loan to the United States. They weren't really given to us. And, and China has loaned pandas to other countries as well. But apparently the contract or the current contract for... <clears throat> um, the pandas is ending December of this year. And, you know, there are some political things that are happening as well. I'm not going to get into that, but it's just a shame that these sweet, big bears are going to be going back to China and we won't be able to see them anymore. So between 1972 and now, there have been many pandas to come and go in the zoo and many, well... Lots of babies were, were born, but most of them passed away for whatever reasons. And there's a whole big history out there if you guys want to look for it. But, <clears throat> you know, these, first you think, you look at a panda and they're huge and their baby is the size of a stick of butter. So you first think that they're a marsupial, you know, like a kangaroo, but they're really not marsupials. They have babies just like we have babies. The life expectancy of pandas is approximately 15 to 20 years. And uh, I'll quickly wrap this up. Um, China is, uh, will be getting them back, um, at least the ones from here. I think there are a few more left in Atlanta that will be um, going back to China as well. Um, not exactly how many. So when they go back to China, apparently they will be living in the China Wildlife Conservation Association area where hopefully they'll have a premier retirement. 
Boy, we'll miss the guys. Um, I was able to see them a couple of times down at the Washington Zoo, down in Washington, D.C. And um, I can't remember the ones that I saw, but it was pretty cool. They're amazing animals, so... It's pretty sad. It's sad for this area up here because, you know, it's, it's one of the major draws of the Washington Zoo. And uh, to lose that, it's going to be devastating. I think they'd even plan to, big a, to build a bigger area for the pandas. And um, that's been put on hold, obviously. But we can be hopeful for the future and hope that we can get some back again someday soon and uh, be able to see these wonderful animals. Okay guys, let's get on with the opening here. I don't have a name for this guy, but I remembered that I bought this guy for my dog, Mimi, <laughs> as a toy. But she wasn't really playing with it, so I thought he could be my mascot for the day. I'm gonna set him aside. And uh, we'll get started here. So um, this is kind of uh, a mixture of places that I purchase this panda items from. There'll be some from Diamond Art Club. Um, I've got some from Amazon and also GBFKE. So I just wanted to show them kind of all together in my panda time video. <laughs> okay. Um, all the canvases came with the usual boat, wax, and pen. And firstly, let's look at this guy. This one is um, a framed little guy. It came in a box and it was from Amazon. And let's open it up. Actually, when I, when I got it, I didn't think it would, was coming with a frame. And so I was pleasantly surprised. Kind of neat. The boat. And it's uh, special drills. Looks like rhinestones. And this little guy here. <laughs> so cute. I don't know what he's drinking. Maybe bamboo juice because they like bamboo. I think 99% of their diet comes from bamboo. That's their favorite meal. Anyway, so it's all, all special drills here. These um, different sizes of rounds, it looks like. And look, it, it came with a frame too. So that would be pretty cute. I finish that and put it in the frame. And let's see if I can find the price for this guy. Um, I think he was $8.99. On Amazon so let me put him aside let me know out there if any any of you have had a chance to see a panda bear live like at a zoo somewhere either in here in the United States or internationally okay here's my little panda with the gink I guess it's a ginkgo leaf on top this is a 30 by 40 and um, it's got 22 different colors doesn't seem like it has that many but it's a little bit of blending down in here some confetti lots of color blocking here guys with the white here are the drills they came pre-bagged so that'll be cute to do And next we have maybe a set of twins. It's cute. Some color blocking in a little bit of areas here. This is a 30 by 30, 12 colors. They're all letters, but not in order. And this guy, uh, I got at Amazon. I think he was $9.99. Let me see the drills for him. Those are these. Just in the other plastic bags. 
I like this green for the bamboo. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if you guys know, but bamboo is, uh, I don't know, that plant just takes over everywhere. It's very, very invasive. It's pretty, but it's real invasive. Oh, here, look at here, so we got some bamboo. And these guys, this is really cute. This is a uh, 30 by 40, 20 colors. Apologize for the glare. And the drills. Big bags and little bags. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, and next we got a big guy here. This big guy, I think he came from GBFKE, and he's a panda on the moon. Boy, I hope this comes out. Can you guys see him without the glare there? So he's just laying on the moon, taking a nap, I guess. So this guy's pretty big. It is a 50 by 40 with, let's see, 44 colors. Here's the picture. Right here. Oh, that's sweet. Looks lonely, doesn't he? Look at this light. Let's see. And the drills. A lot of them, guys. They're pretty bagged, which is nice. And guess what? This is a square. All the other ones are rounds. This one's a square. Yikes. <laughs> okay. And let's see how much he was. He was $13.75 at GBFKE. Next, I got some stickers from GBFKE. The little panda stickers. I like to use stickers like this in my journal. I do a journal and a calendar all in one. I use the Hobonichi. And I think I'll maybe do a video of my setup for next year. I'll do a video later on for that. But it's fun to use stickers and washi tape in that journal. So this is an assortment here. <laughs> oh, they're even seasonal. Very cute. So they just peel the back off of these. Oh, this one's got an attitude, I think. Oh. Anyway, um, a good selection of big stickers here. Oh, there's one drinking one of those uh, bubble teas. You guys ever had a bubble tea? Very interesting. Kind of neat. Okay, next uh, I got two paintings from... Diamond Art Club. This one's a square and it's called Panda. By Patrice Marciano. I think she did, she does stuff like this with the, the color splats. I think uh, she did, um, who is it? Marilyn Monroe. And I think Crafty Chef did Marilyn Monroe in one of her we the paint alongs we had. Uh, so this guy is a square and it's 16.5 by 16.5 inches or 42 by 42 centimeters. So I'm not gonna open them up, but that's what um, he looks like. I think it'll look neat with me and my color, love of color. <clears throat> And here, lastly, I got the, the Bamboo Dreams from Diamond Art Club from Abra by Abraham Hunter. 
And this is a 55.8 by 74 centimeter round. I think there, there might be some special drills in here, but I'm not sure how many. So anyway, guys, um, I hope you share my love of pandas. And um, if you ever get a chance to go to a zoo and see a panda, it's pretty cool. The mothers are just so motherly. I mean, I don't know. When you watch them, it's just heartwarming, you know, to me. Not like, I mean, some of the other animals are like that too. But, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. It just hits me. <laughs> so, that makes my heart melt. But anyway, they're such big, you know, called giant pandas. They're so big. But uh, they seem to be you know, tender, but I don't think so. I mean, if you get close to them, they're probably going to be a little uh, iffy. So I wouldn't want to chance that. So, so we've got these canvases here. We've got this little one here on the moon. Here are the little stacked ones. I really like this one a lot. Looks like they got black eyes, right? Two black eyes. The little twins. A little ginkgo guy and the little guy that's going to get framed. All right. I'm so happy. Oh, here, here are my um, stickers. So happy you guys joined me today. I hope you enjoyed the history of the panda and I didn't bore you too much. I like to do some of the historic stuff ahead of time if I can. And it's... Um, like I said, for people that live in where I do up here near Washington, D.C., it's just pretty sad that they're going to be boarding a plane here in the next day or two and flying back to China. It's like, you know, losing a friend. <laughs> so uh hope you guys take care and uh, happy painting, and uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye now.